Breaking news, my country people. Guys, Governor Basiki don't declare the next Saturday election a do or die exercise. No be smart in the happen no. This one where Basiki don't talk say this Saturday's upcoming election. Say na do or die affair. And recall that during a visit by Abdul Salami Abubakar, the former military head of state and chairman on National Peace Committee, Obasiki had alleged that the Nigerian police, who are expected to enforce the peace accord, were working for the APC and intended to make the election a violent one, where he said he would give them woto woto. He would give them back to back. No matter the form, he is going to give them the way they bring it. So Obasiki has stated that this September 21st governorship election in the state is now a do or die affair. Say you know get as he wants to be. Because he had lamented how the police force detained 10 PDP members, including a local government chairman, without sufficient evidence or valid case against them. And for those that are conversant with the politics of Edo states, I mean, ever since the election cycle, We've been seeing a lot of things. But then, unlike 2020, he's worried about the recent developments and what's happening. And it's like for the first time, they are witnessing a destructive environment. They are witnessing a violent environment. And the entity, which is the Nigerian police, that is supposed to maintain and enforce a peace accord, is now creating this destructive environment, this unconducive environment. So the opposition party in the state, the APC, has always argued that they may not be as popular and didn't win in the last election, but they had promised to use federal power to undermine the outcome of this election. And we thought it was just rhetoric. But in the last four weeks, I mean, Obasiki has been put in a situation whereby he is even handicapped. To an extent, it was alleged that the IGP brought in police thugs into Edo State to invade, to arrest, and to take away PDP members. Speaking in the Orado local government area, where the PDP held the grand finale of its governorship campaign, Obasiki said that this election has now become a do-or-die affair. That at this point, this Saturday's election is now a do-or-die affair, where he urged the people that if they don't want insecurity, that if they want a better government, they should vote for Aswe Yodalo as the next governor of Edo State. You know, earlier, Basiki had welcomed top APC chieftains led by the Vice President Kisim Shetima to the state. Among the ruling party members who were in Edo for the grand finale of Senator Mondi Okwebulu's campaign were the Senate President Goswell Apabio, Abdullahi Omar Ganduji, the APC National Chairman, and the governors elected on the platform of the All Progressive Congress and other APC lawmakers came to Edo State for the grand finale of the campaigns in the state for the APC candidate Monday Okwebolo. And, and, as, and as you may have it, Obasiki in turn, during his own grand finale for the People's Democratic Party, made mention of this election being a do or die affair. So guys, what are your thoughts on this? It seems that the APC and the PDP are engaged in a battle. So, I guess it's left for the Edo people, it's left for Edo people to troop out in massive numbers and show these guys what true democracy looks like by voting for their preferred candidates. They should remember that integrity matters a lot. So, people in Edo states should troop out and vote for their candidates. I'm not specifying on any candidate, but they should vote on their candidate. Someone they feel is credible. Someone that has the capacity to move those states to a greater height. 
Because a lot of people are watching this Edo election. And with what people are saying online, they are saying that they want to use this, uh, this Edo election as a case study to determine the future of the Nigerians, uh, you know, political landscape in terms of the 2027 election. That if APC wins this Edo election, that means it's over for Nigeria. That means it's over because anything can happen possibly in the 2027 election. So it's time for the people of Edo State to change the narrative. Let Edo people show these politicians what true democracy looks like by refusing any form of violence whatsoever. The people of Edo State should fix their eyes on INEC very well, most especially those INEC officials. They should not give any talk in Edo State, any breathing space. Because at this point, we've seen what has happened. So if Obasiki is saying, well, it's a do or die affair, that one consign God with Obasiki because at this point, everybody must be on alert. I think this is the only language that the APC understands, as well as the PDP. But then, the Labour Party, they seem to be on a quiet edge in this election. We've not heard any threat from them. We've not had any noise from them. We've not had any, any form of violent threat from uh, Olumide Akwata. So, my country people, this is it. Edo people will be held responsible for whatever happens during this election. Edo people will be held responsible. So, the youth should look at what's happening in this economy. And they should not default in any way. They should mount their guard and make sure that any attempt to rig the elections should be frustrated. Yes, the other people should in any way make sure that any attempt to rig the election, either by the APC, the PDP, or whatever party, even the Labour Party, must be resisted. Because at the end of the day, all we will hear is, well, you all should go to court, and then we see another battle. We wouldn't want that in Edo State. So, if it is the plan of the APC to rig this election, Edo people must make it very difficult for them to rig this election. If it is the plan of Obasiki to rig it, Edo people should make it very difficult for them. If it is the plan of the Labour Party to rig it, Edo people should make it very difficult for them. Let the vote of the masses count this time around. All eyes are on Edo State. The people should take up action. They shouldn't slumber, just like what Alex Oti said. Nobody should sleep, oh. Edo people should not lose guard. So guys, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.